I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Rock and roll capital of America. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. 
It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I had to find a key to get Barry out. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Let's get the lights on, huh? The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself.
situation like this. I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? No, you're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy, drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. 
Saga's story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. On Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again.
I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song, the Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, well, Al, but we're stuck here. They're not Shh. gonna... I've interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... <laughs> Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh man! We're sitting ducks with the lights out! Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. 